a question that often gets asked, especially as we go up into Ramadan, how often should I be reciting the Quran in the sense of uh, how many khatms should I do? Should I recite it all? Uh, should I complete the Quran? Should my goal be to complete the recitation of the Quran? Should my goal be to push myself to maybe recite it twice? Should I be looking to finish half of the Quran? How do I um, you know, juggle the desire to finish the Quran with the desire to also read it in a way that I can ponder it and that I can enjoy it? What if I have difficulty with the recitation? Should I be focusing on reading the translation as well? Um, you know, pausing, making sure that I'm understanding it. And I want to first begin by saying that in Ramadan, you want to engage the Quran in any way possible, right? And engaging the Quran in any way is a form of ibadah. It's a form of worship. Whether you are engaging it by listening to its recitation or reciting it yourself or pondering upon its verses or understanding something deeper about it, all of it is a form of ibadah insha'Allah ta'ala. Even reading the translation is a form of ibadah in, in the intention of wanting to understand the Qur'an. It's not the same as reciting the actual verses of the Qur'an, but it is a ibadah uh, in that sense, right? If the intention is to gain knowledge and gain closeness to Allah and gain a, a greater understanding of the Qur'an. So that's the first thing. You want to engage the Qur'an in multiple ways. The second thing is that Ramadan is certainly a month of recitation. And so, yes, we do see that the Salaf, the pious predecessors, used to push themselves in Ramadan to recite the Qur'an more in Ramadan than they would outside of Ramadan. It wasn't a month of studying as much as it was a month of reflecting and developing and reciting, right? But with that being said, uh, there's this beautiful statement from Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu where he says about the recitation of the Qur'an, he says, لا تنثروه نثر الدقل ولا تهذوه هذا الشعر He said, رضي الله تعالى عنه, لا تنثروه نثر الدقل Do not recite the Qur'an as if it was, uh, as if it was some dates, uh, ripe dates falling from a tree. So don't scatter uh, the recitation of the Qur'an. So don't, uh, don't recite it as if it's a scattered recitation. But at the same time, he says, وَلَا تَهُذُّهُ هَذَّ الشِّعْرِ He said, and do not recite it so quickly that it's like poetry. So don't scatter the recitation as if it's dates falling from a tree. وَلَا تَهُذُّهُ هَذَّ الشِّعْرِ And do not recite it so fast as if it's like poetry. Do not go through it as quickly as you would poetry. He said, قِفُوا عِنْدَ الْعَجَائِبِ عِنْدَ عَجَائِبِهِ He said, instead, stop. At its uh, at its verses at its uh, its verses that amaze you that cause you pause. So qifu عند عجائبه وحركوا به القلوب ولا يكون هم أحدكم آخر السورة. He said رضي الله تعالى عنه that make sure that you recite it in a way that you move your hearts and do not let the concern of one of you as you are reciting the Qur'an simply finishing the surah. Don't just think about, I need to finish this much, I need to finish this much. So I'm going to re repeat uh, the narration once again. Uh, he was uh, asked about how the Qur'an should be recited. He said, لا تنثروه نثر الدقل ولا تهذوه هذا الشعر قفوا عند عجائبه وحركوا به القلوب ولا يكون هم أحدكم آخر السورة. Do not recite it like dates that are falling from a tree. And do not recite it like verses of poetry. But instead stop at the verses that amaze you and let it be that it moves your heart and do not be simply concerned with finishing the surah. Now what does this mean? Obviously there are different speeds that you recite the Qur'an as well. And it is important to have quantity in mind in the sense that if you don't set any goals for yourself, for finishing the Qur'an for example, or finishing a portion of the Qur'an, then you might fall behind altogether. So. It is important, I think, for you to set, inshallah ta'ala, a time period and a goal, a quantifiable goal, but take into consideration the recitation of the verses at a slower pace so that you can have time to reflect, for example, to, to allow our tongues to be busy with the Qur'an and our thoughts to be busy with the Qur'an in the month of Qur'an. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us people of Qur'an. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullahu khayran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa